Hey hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and you're watching Backup Baba. I hope you all are doing great and thank you so much for your support and love on my previous videos. So today in this video, we are going to learn what is a storage policy and how we can create a storage policy in a console environment. So before moving uh, to create a storage policy, uh, let's understand what is a storage policy. So here you can see, so basically a storage policy is a set of rules that determines how data is, should be backed up, archived and retained. It also specifies the storage location, retention periods and other parameters that determine how data is managed within a Commvault com environment. So basically there are three essential rules that every storage policy will have. The first one is data that will be managed. So we have to define uh, like what data you want to take the backup. Uh, with the help of your storage policy. The second is the data path to be protected storage. So you have to associate a library with your storage policy. So your data will get backed up inside that library. The third is how long it will be kept in storage. So in a storage policy, you have to define the retention period. So how long you want to keep your data inside your library. So I hope uh, you understand what is the storage policy. Now let's move uh, to create a storage policy. So let me minimize this window. Yeah. Now logging to Comcell console. So you know, uh, Comcell console is basically a Java-based console uh, through which you can manage your infra. You can create policies and you can define the rules from there. So here it is asking for the credentials. So let me put the credentials. So if you guys are new to this channel, uh, please hit the like and subscribe button. So now we have successfully logged into the console console. Now moving to create a storage policy. So we have to come to the left hand side under the policy. So here you can see. So in the policy, you have to select a storage policy. Now here uh, you have to right click. Click on new storage policy. So here uh, you will get the two options. So we have to select the first one for the data protection and archiving. Now click next. So here it is asking for a storage policy name. So let's skip it. Uh, storage policy. With 90 days retention period. Now clicking next. So in the next tab, uh, it will ask uh, to choose the storage pool. So if you are not aware with the storage pool, so I have already created a video on the storage pool. So you can go and watch it. Uh, so I'm going to select the local disk pool and clicking next. So here we have to define uh, the retention period and the number of devices stream. So in the retention, if you want to keep the retention infinite, so you can select it infinite. If you are going for the 90 days, so I'm keeping it 90 days and one cycle. So for the days and cycle also, uh, I have already created a videos. So you can go in my previous video and you can watch like what is days and what is the retention. So I'm keeping it zero and now clicking next. So in this review selections, so basically it is displaying uh, the, the selections which you have made in the previous tabs. So now clicking finish. So now you can see uh, a new storage policy has been created here. Uh, with 90 days retention period which i have already mentioned in the name of uh, storage policy so that's it guys uh, for this videos i hope uh, you have liked the content so uh, we will bring some new videos very soon so keep watching and please do not forget uh, to hit the subscribe button thank you so much bye bye take care